Okay, so now that that's loaded up, it's going to take about one hour in the wash, about one hour in the dry, probably an extra 20 minutes as I get distracted and forget to switch them immediately. Okay, so I'm looking at about four hours of sleep. Oh boy. Tomorrow is not going to be fun. Okay. Technically, yes, technically it was my fault that my drink ended up on my sheets, but we were watching a really good movie, and the action scene during the climax, are you kidding me? If you're not getting physically hyped during something like that, are you really enjoying the movie, or are you just watching it? So... As far as I'm concerned, this was not a mistake, but a force majeure. Although, as many excuses as I might make, that doesn't mean I get to go to sleep any earlier. Hmm. You wish you could help. Well, it's not like you're going to be able to make it just clean. Although that would be a very underrated superpower. But, unless you've really been holding out on me, I'm pretty sure that you don't have it. Which means that I don't think that there's really a way that you're going to... Hmm. Maybe there is a way you can help me, now that I think about it. No, 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 no. I don't want you to give me your bed. But, I have seen your bed. And it would probably fit too relatively easily. Well, I, I know it sounds a little weird, but hear me out. You can consider it a favor. After all, I do have some important online classes I'm taking, and I also have to go to work. So, just this one thing will be a very big favor. Also, think about how long we've been roommates. I actually don't remember how long we've been roommates. Regardless, we've been roommates long enough that you know I'm not going to try to pull something. So, just one night, big favor, and we don't have to do this again. Because we're watching our movies earlier in the day from here on. <sighs> Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I was not looking forward to being a brain-dead zombie all tomorrow. But if I'm sleeping in your bed, that means I really can't sleep the way I normally do. So, give me about three minutes and I'll be back and ready for bed. Um, since I'm using your bed, I don't want to make you have to stay up any later than you would normally. So, I will be right back. Knock, knock. Yeah, I know the door's open, but I'm not a huge fan of barging into people's rooms. Ooh, man. That bed really is a lot bigger than I remember. I don't even think we're gonna have to make that weird great wall of pillows that you see on TV occasionally. <sighs> and this bed is perfectly soft as well. Good sheets. Man, you might actually have to tell me what you even bought. Well, anyway, that can be for tomorrow. I do appreciate it, man. Yeah, good night. Hmm. Hmm. Man. Alright, you know what? This isn't a complaint, but an observation. Good bed, good sheets, awful pillows. I don't even know how you sleep with this thing. It feels like it's scratching my neck. You don't have that? Really? Maybe I'm just sleeping on the seam, then. I'm just gonna flip it over. Oh. Oh. I see. You know what? You're right. I don't think your pillows were at fault. 
Very soft, very comfy. Not scratchy at all. Yeah, yeah. No, we're definitely on the same page now. But, um... I found what was scratching me. Well, since you're too lazy to flip over, I guess I'll just tell you. I found your collar. Oh, that got reaction out of you. Well, maybe found wasn't exactly the right word. It was scratching the back of my neck, after all, so it's more like your collar found me. No, I don't think you wanted me to find it. I don't think you're, um, the type to make a trap like that. But it was barely hidden, which is interesting. That implies that you wanted it to be at the ready. Really? Someone else left it here? Mmm. You know, I don't believe you. Not because I don't think you're trustworthy, but it's just kind of odd that it's under your pillow that I know you move around a lot. So how did you never find it before now? Hmm. Not to mention it was just out here, barely under your pillow. You know, if I was going to prank my friends, it would be something that they would find later on, like... Maybe in a drawer, or under their books, but this was here, so I have to think, I think this is yours. Oh, you are so easy to read. That is one of my favorite things about you. So, if this is yours... Are you more of a little kitty boy? A pretty little kitty? Hmm. Not in this case. Okay. Well, then are you a... Are you a good little puppy? Good little puppy boy? Aho! Now that's a reaction. Your face all red, embarrassed... You know, here I thought most puppies liked being owned. Are you an owned puppy? Or are you just an obedient puppy? Or maybe it's just that you're so cute that somebody had to put a collar on you. Hmm. Now that reaction tells me that this might be all of them. Well, I'm not going to ask you to put it on even though I really want to see it on you. You are about to go to sleep, but... I'm going to have to meet the person that decided to collar you up. Someone that looked at this little puppy and decided that they needed you. No, I'm not going to bully you. Although, teasing is always on the table. Although, if you ask me, that's probably part of this thing here. Oh no, you haven't gotten away from this yet. So, do you like being called Puppy Boy? Or a good boy? Your blush deepens every time I say that. So you like being someone's good little puppy. Well, what else do you like about this? What else do they do? Do they give you head pats? Little scratches under your chin? Do they cuddle up to you when it's time to go to bed? Their warm, little, faithful companion? Maybe I'm going a little too deep into the dog aspect, but... I can see why you'd be their puppy. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous that you're someone else's puppy. Because you are a good boy. You would be the perfect puppy boy to have and to love and to take care of and to tease. But I'm not going to do that too much. But 
I saw your reactions. So I'm going to help you go to sleep. I've about decided that. I may not have to, but good puppies, good boys, deserve rewards for being good, don't they? Shh. Stop arguing. Let me just... There you go. I'm just gonna scratch under this chin right here. Oh, lucky you relax into it. This is something you're used to, isn't it? Well, I'm gonna have to apologize to your owner. Because tonight, you're my puppy boy. And that's a good boy, too. Oh, look at that face as I scratch under your chin. As you crane your neck so I have greater access to it. Oh, you are so cute here. <laughs> Honestly, I think you might be triggering my cute aggression, but I'll try to hold it back. I just want this good little puppy boy to know that you are loved, that you are appreciated, and that you can be spoiled like this. Shh. Arguing is bad. Shh. You're a good puppy boy, right? You don't want to be a bad puppy boy until... No, until it's asked for. But I don't want that tonight. I just want to treat the good boy that did such a good thing for his friend, for his roommate, for someone that he didn't even have to. Good boy. Good boy. What a good puppy boy. And let me just brush the side of your head as well. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me give you gentle head rubs. That's what you like, right? What a good boy. The way that you practically melt into it is just... Well, I did say that I'd curb my cute aggression, but... You're making it very hard. I love that satisfied expression on your face, although I do see you trying to fight it. Just be a good boy, a good puppy boy, and let me spoil you. You've earned it. You've earned this sort of love, my good little puppy boy. I've got to see you in that collar at some other point. But tonight, let me just help you go to sleep. My good little puppy boy. I never knew that you were such a good boy that someone made you into their puppy. Yeah. That's a good boy. That is a good little puppy boy. I'm going to spoil what you have rotten tonight. That's a good puppy boy. That's a good puppy boy. And you know what? I think a good puppy deserves some ear scratches. Yeah, that's a good boy. Good boy, good puppy boy, a 
good puppy boy. Good boy. You seem to really be enjoying these. I'm gonna log this for later. I'm gonna log this for later. Oh yeah. You are not escaping this one. Just enjoy. Like a good puppy boy. Just gonna blow on your ears. Hush now. Just let me spoil you. Give me that chin again. Oh. You're such a good boy. And a good little puppy boy. Look at you just melt into my fingers. Now, when you're being a good boy outside of tonight, I'm gonna have to do this for you. No, 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 no arguing. Just be a good boy. Just be a good boy and let me spoil you. I'm sure who you got the collar from wouldn't be too upset that someone else is treating their puppy well. If I was the one who gave you that collar. I would be happy that you were being appreciated. There you go. You went from embarrassed to soothed so quickly. You are so cute. <laughs> Good boy. Shh. Hmm. You know what? Flip over. Yeah, face away from me. <laughs> Good boy. You're not even arguing anymore. And I'm going to scooch in and I'll wrap my arms around you. Yeah. This is where good puppies and good puppy boys belong. Being cuddled, being cherished, my chin on your head, fully Hmm, what do people call this now? <laughs> I'm not going to refer to myself as a spoon, but... Maybe I'll call you the little spoon. But... Just being hell. That's a good boy. That is such a good puppy boy. I know I don't have to keep calling you that, but... I just want to. Is that so wrong? Good boy. You are being such a good boy. Shh. I'm just gonna run my fingers. Through your hair. Yeah. Shh. That's a good puppy. That's a good puppy boy. Shh. 
just relax into me. Let your back push into my chest. You're safe and you're appreciated. That's a good boy. You know, I said this was going to be a one-time thing, but I might have to do this again. How about this? You tell me how long it's been since somebody else has appreciated this good boy, their puppy, and I might just take over if it's been too long. I'm not going to interfere with anything, but I'm going to have to spoil you again. That's a good puppy boy. That's a good puppy boy. Every puppy boy deserves love. Deserves caring attention. They deserve having their chin scritched even as they go to sleep. There you go. You are so cute. Let me run my fingers through your hair again. That's a good boy. You're being such a good puppy boy. You're doing so well. All that embarrassment from earlier, let it go. Right now, you're just a cute, obedient, Puppy boy in the arms of someone that cares about you. Someone who wants to spoil you. That's a good boy. Such a good boy. A good little puppy boy. That's my puppy boy. It's about time that you go to sleep. Oh, you can't make that disappointed sound. I might start thinking that you actually like this. But it's time for you to go to sleep. And it's time for me to go to sleep too. So, oh, let me just give you one more squeeze. Oh no, I'm not letting you go. You're sleeping in my arms all tonight, okay? That's a good boy. Instantly agreeing. What a good puppy boy. Well, just close your eyes. Feel my warmth enveloping you. Just know that you're safe and loved, as all good puppies should be. Breathe, relax, and let yourself fall asleep in my arms.
That's my good boy. That's my good puppy boy. Good night. And if you ever want this again, just let me know. So good.